Welcome to Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Tutorials. This time, I will be solving problems involving theoretical field capacity. This is under farm power and machinery. But before we proceed, let us first define theoretical field capacity. It is the capacity of the machine when it is performing at 100% efficiency. It is always higher than effective field capacity since it is usually impossible to operate machines continuously or at their rated width of action. The formula in getting theoretical field capacity is TFC, is equal to SW, over C, where TFC is the theoretical field capacity in the unit of hectare per hour or acre per hour. S is the operating speed in kilometers per hour or miles per hour. W is the width in meters or feet, and C, is the constant. If unit of measurement is in metric system, the value of constant is 10, while if you use the English system, the value for constant will be 8.25. Now, we proceed with the first problem. A tractor pulls a 2 meter wide heavy duty offset disc harrow at an operating speed of 5 km per hour. What is the theoretical field capacity of the machine? The first thing we have to identify is the given. We have the rated width of implement of 2 meters. And the speed of 5 km per hour. Now, we proceed with our solution. Theoretical field capacity is equal to the speed of 5 km per hour, times the width of 2 meters, all over the constant of 10. We will use this value for constant since the unit of measurement used in the problem is the metric system. We simply solve giving us a final answer for our problem of 1 hectare per hour. That is now the solution to our problem number 1. Next, we proceed with our problem 2. A rotary tiller has a 10 feet operating width. If the tractor runs at a speed of 2 miles per hour, what is the theoretical field capacity of the machine? The given in the problem are the width of implement of 10 feet and the speed of 2 miles per hour. Now, we proceed with the solution. Theoretical field capacity is equal to the speed of 2 miles per hour, multiplied to the width of implement of 10 feet, all over the constant of 8.25. We used this value since the unit of measurement used in the problem is the English system. Now, we simply solve giving us a final answer to the problem of 2.42 acre per hour. That is now the solution to our problem number 2. Next, we proceed with our problem 3. A three-bottom disc plow is plowing at a speed of 9 km per hour. The effective width per plow bottom is 20 cm. What is the theoretical field capacity? The given in the problem are the width of 20 cm per plow or 0.2 m per plow. And the speed of 9 km per hour. Now, we proceed with the solution. Theoretical field capacity is equal to the speed of 9 km per hour. Since we have three plows used as implement, we will multiply 0.2 meters per plow to three plow to get the total width. Now, we divide the numerator to the constant of 10. We simply solve giving us an answer of 0.54 hectare per hour. That is now the solution to our problem number three. Next, we proceed to sample problem number 4. A power harrow has 5 meters operating width. If the tractor runs at a speed of 30 km per hour, what is the theoretical field capacity of the machine? The given in the problem are rated width of implement to be 5 meters, and the speed of 30 km per hour. Now, we proceed with the solution. We have, Theoretical field capacity is equal to the speed of 30 km per hour times the width of 5 meters, all over 10. We simply solve giving us a final answer to our problem of 15 hectares per hour. That is now the solution to our problem number 4. Next, we proceed with our last problem. 
What is the theoretical field capacity of a 2.5 meters wide tandem disc harrow pulled by a four-wheel drive tractor running at a speed of 12 kilometers per hour? The given in the problem are the rated width of implement to be 2.5 meters, and the speed of 12 kilometers per hour. Now, we proceed with the solution. We have the theoretical field capacity is equal to the speed of 12 kilometers per hour multiplied to the width of 2.5 meters, all over the constant of 10. We simply solve giving us a final value for our problem 5 of 3 hectares per hour. That is now the solution to our problem number 5.